Hey there. So another quick video for you today. I want to talk about uh, the differences between fail open, fail secure, and fail safe. Um, these are terms that sometimes people overthink and get confused. I know I have. So here's a video kind of to straight them out and uh, hopefully it's helpful to you. All right. So, you know, as security people, we have to think about systems when they, when they fail, you know, because, you know, that happens, things fail. Are they going to fail? in a manner that is going to protect our organization or in a way that's going to put our organization at risk. So that's why we have these three states. Fail open, fail secure, fail safe. Maybe fail closed, you can put that in there too. But but the way a system will uh, will fail is something we got to think about. So uh, like I said, the first ones are probably, are probably pretty straightforward to you. Um, fail open basically means that when a system fails, it fails in a manner that is open, like as if it's not really there. So take, for example, a network switch. Say a network switch fails in some way. Well, it might default to being open and essentially it acts like a hub in that way. Traffic just passes through it like as if it's not even there. You know, back and forth, no problem. And you know, that might be what you want in your organization in, in some circumstances. And in other circumstance, circumstances, it might not be. So, you know, it depends. All right, next one is fail secure. So fail secure, basically that means that a device will fail in a way that uh, is secure and protects whatever it happens to be protecting. So for example, a firewall, right? Firewall is a control, uh, regulates network traffic flowing in and out. If a network firewall were to fail, um, say it were to fail open, right? That means it's not blocking any of the traffic. Everything is wide open and exposed. That would be bad. So, you know, a firewall will usually fail in a secure state. So that's what we mean when we say something is failing securely. It's failing in a way that it's protecting, uh, you know, what it what it's uh, what it's there to do, the control that it's supposed to have in place. Um, a network switch, in the other example I just gave, say a network switch fails in a secure way. Well, maybe that fails in a closed way, which means the switch fails, and all of a sudden it stops moving any traffic. It's like a just a block, right? And again, maybe that's what you want in your organization. Maybe not. It depends on, on what's happening. And that brings us to the third uh, term, which I think is the one that confuses people. And it's fail safe. And fail safe can mean different things in different contexts. So, you know, in terms of a, a network device, uh, a network device that fails safe would fails in a way that it protects other systems from damage. So using the firewall example that I, I, uh, I had made earlier, perhaps failing safe in that uh, context means that that device fails in a closed state, right? That's what secure means, it's closed. Um, doesn't always mean that. Um, failing in a safe way can often mean something that fails open, uh, it just depends. Now, I think where the confusion comes in fail safe is when it comes to physical security devices, particularly electronic door locks, right? So door locks can either fail secure or fail safe, uh, depending on how they're set up. So think about a fail secure door lock. So failing secure means that the door would be locked. And remember, we're talking about the secure side, the key side, right? So when something fails secure, um, that means people can't come in anymore. Now egress, getting out, that's always allowed, emergencies or not. Uh, you always need to be able to get out. That's a part of a building, I think that's part of a building code or building standard, right? You should always be able to get out. So when when power goes out, a secured fail secure lock will be locked. All right, it means you can still get out, but nobody else can get in. So in the event of emergency, you can get out, but uh, let's say there's a fire. How are, how are the firefighters gonna get in? if that door has failed secure, right? Well, this is why lots of fire doors, for example, they fail safe. And that means when the power goes out, they default to being unlocked both ways, right? People can get out, people can also get in though. So um, in a fail safe door lock, you've gotta you know, have a little bit of security on the outside of the door as well. But you know, in the event of an emergency, you know, firefighters, paramedics, people can still get in because the door is failing in a safe way. So, you know, a little bit of different thinking uh, between, you know, computer security network devices and, you know, physical world security doors and that kind of thing. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Hopefully that's helpful and clear. Have a great day.
拜拜。